scary skeletons and shivers down your spine Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight Spooky scary skeletons speak with such a screech Good morning IMS students and staff and welcome to the Daily Morning Qua. I'm Ella and I'm Nico. How would you like to have a video journal of your life as you go through IMS? I'm excited to tell you about a program we're continuing this year called the 5,000 Days Project, formerly called the School of Life. We're really trying to sign up 6th graders, but it's also open to any 7th and 8th graders that have not already signed up. For students' families who choose to participate, you'll be able to create a video time capsule about yourself as you go through middle school and high school. In the 5,000 Days Project, participating students will be scheduled for one class period appointment each year. When it's your turn, you'll come, in, you'll come to the office and answer questions in private during a computer-automated interview. Through video prompts, you'll be asked questions like, do you have a nickname and why? What are your favorite things to do? What's cool about this is that you'll add to your video journal with a new interview each year. When you finish high school, you'll be given access to the video time capsule you created, and it will be a fun way to see how much you've grown and what you've learned about yourself during your schooling. Information was included in this week's e-news. You can also pick up more information in the office from either Ms. Boatwright or Mrs. Matson. Have you ever heard about Reflections? It's an annual art contest to encourage students to explore their talents and express themselves. Each year, over 300,000 students in pre-K through grade 12 create original works of art in response to a student-selected theme. The theme for this year is Look Within. Students submit original works of art in one or all of the avail available six categories, dance choreography, film production, literature, music composition, photography, or visual arts. The due date for turning in artwork is November 1st, so there's still time to enter if you're interested. You can find all the details on the PTSA website or pick up an entry form in the office. Attention all IMS students and staff, next Tuesday is our final turn in day for the popcorn and cookie dough drive. Make sure to give your teacher your envelope with your final orders and money inside on Tuesday. The challenges are on. Which homeroom class will win? Which peak will win? Will Mr. Cottom, Mr. Goodenough, and Mr. Schumacher be forced to wax their legs on the DMQ? Will we make our school goal of $60,000? Get out there and sell, sell, sell. Go IMS, let's show our Panther pride. Come and join the brand new Fall Play Club. Auditions to act in the IMS Fall Play, Canterbury Tales, are fast approaching. Auditions are next Tuesday, October 15th, and Wednesday, October 16th. Pick up an audition sheet in the office and sign up for the, an audition time on the drama door in the Commons, to the right of the cafeteria. Please prepare a one-minute cut of a monologue to audition with. Visit the drama door in the Commons for more information. See you there. Did you know that we have a garden at IMS? It's a project of the green team that benefits classes here at IMS and is a culminating project of more than seven months work. We grow a variety of plants that then benefit classroom learning. Unfortunately, it appears part of our garden was purposely damaged and it impacts our building greatly. If you have any information regarding the damaged garden, please reach out to Mr. Wheeland or a green team member. We invite you to join the next green team as we plan for next year's garden and encourage you all to continue to act in the IMS way by respecting the property and work of others on campus. Thank you. GSA Club. The GSA Club is starting up again Monday, October 21st. Come join us for conversation in a safe place, planning for the year, and snacks. We are meeting in Miss Wee's room after school. See you there. Thursday, October 17th is Picture Retake Day from 8.45 to 11.30 a.m. If you need your picture retaken, please bring the original packet of pictures to the photographer when you are called. If you have not had your picture taken this year, please come to the photographer when called. Remember that all students must have their picture taken. If your family wants to order a packet, order forms are available in the office. Now here's a clunky for cookies. Hey kids, it's time once again to play everybody's favorite game, Clunking for Cookies! Alright, the word this week is flout. Flout, and it means to openly disregard a rule or law. Let's get to it, shall we? From the sixth grade, I went this week. Hey! Yes. Bethany Wee! Yes. From the 
seventh grade our winners we get yes. Katie Hall. Yes. And from the eighth grade our winners we get yes. yes. Nitsi Lobnelli. Yes. Way to go, everybody. And remember. And here's an Are You Sure? Welcome everyone to the second installation of everyone's favorite game show. Are you sure? And guess what? We have our own background. Let's get right into it. And remember, I will ask you five trivia questions and you will have five seconds to answer them each. Let's go. What is anatidophobia? The fear of cheese, the fear that somewhere a duck is waiting for you, the fear of trees, or the fear of rain. The fear that somewhere a duck is waiting for you. About how many million bricks are in the Empire State Building? 10 million, 2 million, 5 million, or 6 million? The Empire State Building has around 10 million bricks. Banging your head against a wall burns about how many calories an hour? 150 calories, 200 calories, 50 calories, or 100 calories? 150 calories. From how many miles away can a lion's roar be heard? Five miles, 10 miles, one mile, or two and a half miles? Five miles. What are baby spiders called? Spiderlings, spiderkin, crawlers, or little tip taps? Spiderlings. Have a great day, IMS.